walks the goodly oh, lord out of town. Tis he who holds the precious portal gem. But only when you've mustered strength sufficient should you challenge him. In Does your copy of Dungeon Keeper run slow and useless? This is a quick video showing you how to fix that. There is a link down below to the files required, and I'll also put the directories which the game should be located in for you. Oh my god, this is unplayable. In order to resolve this problem, you'll need to download this WND mod. Unzip the file. So I'm going to extract them all into here. And inside the file, inside the zip file, you'll find three D, uh, two DLLs and an INI file. These files you will need to copy into your Dungeon Keeper th Dungeon Keeper Two folder where you have all of your stuff. Now the way to do this is to get your shortcut if you've got one. Click on Properties and Open File Location. There we go. You see I've already copied the files in, but it's simply a case of just grabbing the files, right-clicking, going Copy. You want to keep the originals and Paste. Because I already have them, I'm going to skip these files. But you would copy them in there. Then all you need to do is run the DirectX version of Dungeon Keeper. And let me show you how well it runs. Just run it from my shortcut here. You'll be shocked. Yeah, I get that occasionally. I'm running it in compatibility mode as well with Windows XP, which uh, Service Pack 3, which appears to work the best. But once you've done this, the frame rate is amazing. The game runs like it should do on a modern machine. And it works really, really well. It should be exactly the same as if you're playing a perfectly new game. Um, I'm using the Origin version, but this same fix also works for the version of the game which you can get from GOG, okay? And here we go, you'll see the graphics are much improved. I'm not going to run the intro video because, let's be frank, it's the intro video! And everybody's seen it, and it's at the beginning of this video anyway. So, here we go, just we get around this. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you might find it stalls here. It always does this. Right? The way around that. Alt tab, come back, and then hit escape. But watch the loading times. So I give you a clue as to how fast it's running. Look at the smoke. Sing song. It's in 1024 by 768. And check that out. Now. Perfect, more smooth, observer. and look at the but graphics. But use the rooms you won from Smilesville to good employ. And you'll slay him dead, just like Antonius. See what I mean? Very fast, very simple, and the game is looking as it should. The GOG version should Library. look exactly the same. You can see everything's Training quick, room. everything's running fast, smooth. In fact, I've got to say, I end up slowing the game down because it's running too fast. I slow the game speed down a bit. Before, I was having terrible trouble, but... There we go. First, build a lair, and then a hatchery, then claim the portal near your dungeon heart. You see what I mean? All working great. A lair and a hatchery. As you can see, it's all working perfectly smoothly. I can zoom in, and the animations are good. I can zoom in, I can move around. As you can see, it's running very, very well. No problems at all. I can even zoom all the way out, all the way in. Uh, as you can see, no problems at all. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. The link to the DLLs um, and, the, and the INI file is in the description of the video. Please like and share this video if you found it useful. Thank you very much. It's a bit like this. Like this guy sleeping here, I mean.